On tap for this video today is I'm going to show you how to update beyond the official update from AT&T. If you've uh, found yourself in the unfortunate position of, of having the new Jelly Bean official update from AT&T and uh, you're trying to figure out how to get off of that, that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Okay, so what we're working with today is uh, the original Galaxy Note from AT&T. This is the i717, okay? Now, if you're on this official update, the 4.1.2 from AT&T, and you were ready to get off of that for a couple of reasons. One, for the fact that the, the battery life is not very good. Another one, the lag in the keyboard and just general lagginess and some different things. I'm going to show you today how to update past that. Now, what we're going to be updating to today is uh, a ROM called Revolt uh, Jelly Bean. And this is from uh, the XDA developer, Jamie D 81 And uh, <clears throat> basically that ROM is kind of a compilation of a lot of things. It's... Uh, obviously, starting off with Cyanogen Mod 10.1 AOKP, uh, it takes some parts of Paranoid Kangdroid. Um, I was going to show you how to update just the Paranoid Kangdroid, but the last update for that one was back in April 24th, and uh, Jamie said on XDA, uh, I guess whenever he put out this Revolt ROM, he said he did that because he was having some problems with Paranoid Kangdroid by itself. So he's taking that that revolt which has paranoid built into it so that's what I'm gonna show you how to how to update to today and uh, that that ROM we're gonna be updating to is gonna get us all the way to Android 4.2.2 okay so this is the stock um, jelly bean 4.12 from AT&T on my phone right now it's not rooted but I do want to say this if you're not rooted if you are rooted it doesn't matter uh, these same steps will apply, okay? And once we get done with this, you'll be rooted. All right, so over here on the computer, first of all, let me show you the files that you need to download. You're going to need the Odin flashing program, and I'll have a link in the description to all of these sites, but you need to go over here and download this Odin 3 version 3.07. That's going to be one thing you need. Another thing you're going to need is our custom recovery, which is this TWRP Team Win Recovery Project. And the one you want to download is down here close to the bottom. It's second from the bottom right now. It's this TWRP 2.5.0.0. You want the one that's .img.tar. Okay? That's the other, the other thing you need to download there. Now, over here on uh, XDA, Jamie d 81s uh, this Revolt Jelly Bean 4.3 uh, was updated May the 20th. <clears throat> so when you scroll down to the bottom of this first, uh, the first post in this thread here, you're going to need to download both of these. You need to download the ROM. And uh, so that's going to be one thing. And then you also need to download the GAP. So when you click on here for the GAPs, it's going to take you, um, it's going to take you over here. You want to download this one at the top, this uh, 2013-03-01. So you want to download that GAPs version. Okay, so <clears throat> first thing I want to do is let's go ahead and put these last two files I just told you about. This ROM that you downloaded and these gaps, we're going to go ahead and put those onto our SD card on our phone. Okay? Now, these two files, leave them zipped. Okay? That's what this file is right here. This is the Revolt Jelly Bean. This is the ROM itself. And this file right here is the gaps that I've downloaded. Leave both of these as a dot .zip. Okay? Don't unzip them. We want to leave them zipped and just plug in your phone. Okay, we're going to open up our phone. You can see I'm pretty full here on my stuff. I, I've got to clean this up. but Okay, so we're going to take these two files. They're still zipped, you can see. And I'm going to either put both of those on my phone or on my card. Wherever it doesn't matter, we'll, we'll find them later. But go ahead and put both of those files on your phone or on your card at this point. Okay, I've already got those on there, so I'm not going to double up on that okay so go ahead and do that now now with the first two files that I told you about first of all with this Odin program that you downloaded okay so I'm gonna get to it here in my downloads folder 
All right, it's right here, Odin 3, version 3.07. It's a .rar file. So when you click on that, if you don't have a program to open up a .rar, it's going to go into that standard uh, menu where it asks you to choose some program. If you don't have one, you need to go and get one. You can just Google WinRAR, download that. This It's a free program. It works just fine for uh, for unrawing a file. Okay, So, so what I'm going to do is open up this, take this, and then I'm going to take these three files, I'm sorry, these four files, and I'm going to take these four files and I'm just going to put them out on my desktop. Okay, So make sure you put all four files out on your desktop there. Okay, the next thing is we downloaded this TWRP, this uh, custom recovery. Okay, and it's a dot .img .tar, and we want to leave that thing as it is. So over here in my downloads folder, you can see it right here. Okay, I'm not going to unzip this or un unrar it or whatever. It needs to stay as it is. So I'm going to take that uh, that file as it is, and I'm going to drag it and drop it out on my desktop. Okay, I've already got it there, so I'm not going to double up. Okay, so I've got my uh, Odin program here that I put out there, and I've got this custom recovery, and I've already put these two on my card. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my Odin program here. I'm going to push yes. Okay, that's open. Now, on my phone is what I want to do is I want to go ahead and power my phone off. Okay, so I'm going to let my phone make sure it's completely turned off. Okay, back over here on my computer, while that's powering off uh, in, in this Odin program, I'm going to click here on this PDA slot, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I want to go to my desktop, and I want to find that open recovery, the TWRP 2.5.0.0.image.tar that we downloaded, Okay. So I'm going to open that up, and it's going to open up right here into my PDA slot. Okay, so back over to my phone. My phone is, I've turned it off. It's completely, it's completely off now. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push and hold the volume down button. Okay, make sure you don't hit the power button here. So I'm going to push and hold volume down. Now I'm holding the volume down. As I'm holding the volume down here, I'm going to plug in my phone Continue to hold the volume down till you see this right here. Okay, we want to volume up to continue, and now we are in downloading mode. Okay, so I'm just going to set that to the side, and I'm going to go back over here now to my computer, and I'm going to push start on this. And it's what I'm doing is I'm just flashing a custom recovery here. Okay, so this won't take long at all, just take five or six seconds at the max here so it you can see right here it flashed recovery dot image uh, everything's okay it removed you can see up here it says reset so everything passed I'm good on that okay nothing's different here and it shouldn't be because the only thing I did to it just now was was to put a custom recovery on it and to see that custom recovery we're gonna to have to uh, do something different here so that's what we're gonna do now go ahead and unplug your phone I'm gonna go ahead and power my phone off again okay and wait for that to completely power off <clears throat> okay it's dead now okay so now to boot back into my custom recovery is so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to push and hold the volume up and down button at the same time here. Okay, so I'm going to be pushing and holding volume up and down. Now as I do that, I'm going to push power. Hold all three of those together. Just continue to hold them. Okay. Felt it vibrate a couple times there. I'm going to let off the power button, continuing holding volume up and down. And there you go. If, if we would have done this, these steps that I just did of holding volume up and down and pushing the power before I flashed that through the Odin program, 
we would have been brought up into the stock recovery. It would have said Android uh, stock recovery or something to that effect. What you're looking at here is a custom recovery, okay? This team win recovery project is a custom recovery so that we can flash other files besides just stock um, updates from AT&T and Samsung. Okay, so first thing before I do anything else, go ahead and do a backup. So I'm going to click on backup and swipe to backup, okay? Make sure you have enough room on your, on your card. If, you know, if, if there's not enough room, you can see here it's 10 megabytes. 171, 977, so that's going to add up to about 1.1 gigs, somewhere in that neighborhood. You can see here it says only have 605. So make sure you've got enough, uh, enough room on there, and you can see I push down there, and if I go to my internal memory, I've got 1.5 gigs there. So I could click on that and push back. And now for what I'm backing up, I'd have enough room to back it up. So go ahead and back it up. I'm not going to do that because I, I backed up just, just a little bit ago, so I'm not worried about that. But if you've never backed up for sure, go ahead and do this. It'll take uh, three or four minutes probably to do that. Okay, so once you've backed up, now what we're going to do is we're going to install the two files that we, that we put on here, the ROM file and the GAPS file. So I'm going to go to Install. Okay, whoops, I lied. Before I do that, okay, now this is still after you've done the backup, is I'm going to go into uh, wipe, and I'm going to swipe to factory reset. Now this is going to, this is going to wipe everything out, like uh, your settings, your apps, all that type of stuff, this is not going to like uh, take any pictures off, like kill pictures or music or any of that type of stuff. It says successful there. Okay, I'm going to go back. This time I'm going to go into advanced wipe. Okay, I'm going to click on system and swipe to wipe here. Okay, go back. Uh, this time we want to wipe cash swipe to wipe back this time we want to do dalvik cash swipe to wipe that doesn't take long at all okay now <coughs> let's go all the way back to where we get back to this install okay now here is basically a file explorer where I can find these different files. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go find that Revolt ROM that I downloaded. Okay? And I've kind of got mine all over the place here. I've got to look through these folders till I find it. I think it's in this download folder here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, you can see there's that Revolt, Jellybean, Quincy AT&T. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now, once I get that file selected, I'm going to swipe to confirm, and it's going to install uh, that ROM form. Okay, now between here and flashing the gaps, I want to do this wipe, dive it, dive it cache, and cache. Should just take a second here. Okay, back. I'm going to go back again. Okay, install. Now I want to find um, that GAPS version that I downloaded. And I think mine's in another folder here. I think mine may be out here. Yep, right there. So I'm going click to on, click on that. Swipe to confirm flash. And I'm flashing my GAPS here, Google app. Okay? Good. Now we're going to reboot system, and we're going to re re we're going to reboot back into Revolt. And there's going to be one thing I want to show you how to do because uh, took me a little while to figure this out. But there's one thing I want to show you how to do once you get into this ROM. And go to hybrid settings. Here's where. Was, but go to interface and go to navbar. 
then select yes, check it there, and then that nav bar is gone.